months ago, I sat here and I discussed the situation at Barcelona, the turmoil they were experiencing at the time, wherein they were having issues with Ernesto Valverde and there was a bit of a, a lock of horns with Eric Abidal and Lionel Messi. Now fast forward a few months later and Eric Abidal is no longer the, the director of football at Barcelona. Ernesto Valverde is no longer the manager and neither is Kike Setien who was his replacement at the time. Today's topic will be players and clubs. Are players bigger than the clubs? Now, Sir Alex Ferguson quoted in, in one of his famous books that no player is bigger than the club. And in certain instances, this is indeed a fact. However, there are instances where players are in fact bigger than the club. Case in point, Matt Letizier, Southampton. Now, Letizier was a global superstar and Southampton was almost unrecognizable. On David Beckham, LA Galaxy, once more a similar case. LA Galaxy had only recently gotten onto the, the, the soccer scene and David Beckham was a global image. Diego Maradona and Napoli. Napoli had history, however, not much prior to Diego Maradona's introduction. And since he's left, he has been the biggest player to walk through the doors of that club to date. Now, having said all this, I have arrived at Barcelona. Is Lionel Messi bigger than Barcelona, the club? No, he isn't. Now, we can't argue or dispute Messi's contribution to Barcelona. It's a fascinating club. He has contributed tremendously throughout his stint there. However, he is not bigger than the club. And at no point should he be given that idea that he's bigger than the club. Because what we're seeing now is basically Lionel Messi running Barcelona club. He's calling the shots. He's deciding who goes where and what happens whenever what happens. That should not be the case. As I Players tend to get ahead of themselves when they think they're too big for the club. We saw at Manchester United, Alex Ferguson threw a boot at David Beckham because he, he, he turned up for, for training with a mohawk. Uh, and it's stuff like these. Because if a player is bigger than the club, then what manager is he going to take instructions from? None. And that is an issue. That is, that is an issue for a small club like a Middlesbrough or a Wolverhampton Rovers or a whole city. And it's also an issue for a big club like Real Madrid, Barcelona, Manchester United, Liverpool. These clubs need managers with big personalities who are able to control superstars or to give directions to superstars. And this is the only way they're going to move forward because with superstars come big egos. They may not be the most outspoken persons on any given day, as is the case with Lionel Messi. But in the back room or when they go to the discussion board, he's the one pulling the strings. He has done a whole lot for Barcelona on the pitch and we can't argue it. The statistics are there. However, there have been great players before Lionel Messi. Whether they're, whether they're greater than he is, that's up for debate. However, what I'm saying is going forward, the club cannot dwell on Lionel Messi. And Lionel Messi is currently 33 years old. So I expect them to make the transition past the Lionel Messi era and another superstar will come to the club as has been the case and as will definitely be the case and he will take over from Lionel Messi and we're not sure if he will replicate the numbers that Lionel Messi provided at Barcelona but what we are sure of is there is life at Barcelona after Lionel Messi. If these clubs they usually go out and get a superstar especially one that can carry on the, the, the club's legacy throughout. Now, before Lionel Messi, there was Johan Cruyff, there was Ronald Koeman, there was Lodro, there was Ronaldinho, there was Stoikov, and these were all phenomenal players. Then Lionel Messi came. He was in a great generation of players with Xavi, Iniesta, Ronaldinho. These are all exceptional players in their own rights. And I'm pretty sure that going forward, Barcelona will recruit more phenomenon players because this is the caliber of club we're talking about, a club that attracts some of the best players on the planet. And 
if there is a player in today's age that says he has not dreamt of playing for a Barcelona or a Real Madrid, I can guarantee you that player is lying because this is the epitome of football. This is where all the greatest players want to play. This is where they want to go. And as such, I think Lionel Messi, he has contributed tremendously to Barcelona. He's done what very few other players on this planet are capable of doing. And he has done what we aren't even sure that anyone will be able to replicate at Barcelona. But considering that the statue of Barcelona as an institution or as a club or as a global brand, I think Barcelona is definitely bigger than Messi and Barcelona will continue after Messi leaves. So this turmoil or this situation that we're currently seeing, this this outburst from Lionel Messi is just uh, another ploy to get his voice heard. And I think come March when, when the presidential elections are concluded and there's a new president at Elm at Barcelona, Lionel Messi will still be there because that is where I think he wants to retire. And him leaving La Liga now at 33 years old, it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And the recent development from the La Liga Commission saying that his bio clause is still in effect at 700 million pounds, it, it makes matters even worse. No time. I think Lionel Messi will be at Barcelona for the coming season as well as for the foreseeable future. That's where he will end his career and that is my opinion. There are very few players who have been bigger than the clubs they've played for. But in this particular situation, that's not the case. Lionel Messi is not and will not ever be bigger than Barcelona as a club. I'm Naranda Brown. Thanks for tuning in to Halftime. And remember to like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any comments, please leave it in the comment section below. Thanks again.